my name is Doke and today I'm painting in this building. Welcome to the freshly renovated offices of Telecom Slovakia. This is already my third project here. Here you can see the previous ones, but this one, this one is happening on the floor of the IT department. So I tried to make the design sophisticated. Also, I'm gonna need to use some sophisticated painting techniques because the wall, just as in the first project here, is in a narrow hallway which makes any projecting methods for the first lines completely impossible. <sighs> well, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> During the preparation of the wall, I started to think about the changes in my artistic career over the last year. I spent the previous summers outside painting murals, which purpose was mainly to entertain you via my YouTube videos. Okay, masking done. Let's go. And right now I am painting in this air-conditioned building and I feel like all these years in the streets paid off because I not only recorded YouTube videos, I also worked on my ultimate goal to become a pro artist and painting my third mural here for this one big client kind of feels like being a pro artist. The previous two designs I made here were full of dynamic brush strokes where 10 centimeters here and there did not really matter. But this mural is different. I am still using abstract brush strokes to keep the same vibe and style. However, this will be just a background for a precise centerpiece that will come later. Yep, that's gonna be interesting. Right now you might be wondering if this was my ultimate goal, to paint commissions. Because I don't have a full freedom, I need to listen to customers' demands, I need to adjust my art based on their needs. And that's true. But I have to say that at the moment I really enjoy painting commissions. And one of the main reasons why is that the painting matters more than the video. So when I finish a wall and I like it, I can be satisfied. And I don't need to worry all that much about the viral potential of the video that I just recorded. The design that I prepared involves quite a lot of circles. And it is a pain in the ass to paint circles. So I'm gonna make some stencils. These, these are pretty much ready to go, right? Third claw right here. But if you want the big stencil, well, you gotta buy something like this for the flowers and then cut it right here. <laughs> I just realized that it's better to cut it this way rather than this way. See the difference? Because this keeps the structure a bit more, so you won't get a crooked circle. This is a little bit more wobbly. With all the necessary tools I came back to the spot and I started preparation for the precise centerpiece. More specifically, I started to take pictures of the wall so I can put them together in Photoshop and then I can place the design over the wall. So I know the proportions, I know what goes where. But then I got an idea that instead of really difficult combining of pictures, I can use an app that I used before. I actually recorded a whole video about this app. It's called Polycam. And with this app, you can scan objects, rooms, walls, whatever. So I tried it and boom, it worked. Now I have a 3D model of my wall. But the only thing that I actually need is a screenshot of the whole wall. So as I said, I can place a design over it. Okay, I got it. But I'm still pretty nervous about the process because I have actually never ever done this. I've done it, but not, not on this level. Something like that. Let's just do it. In the previous projects here, I had some problems with tape. More specifically, with pieces of a wall coming with the tape. And because of this problem, I bought the most sensitive tape I could find in the hardware store. But 
The way I use tape in this design is pretty extreme with these very long vertical lines. Sorry, horizontal, horizontal lines. There is a pretty big tension. I create a pretty big tension in, in the tape and the sensitive one seems not to handle it all that well, which is very bad news. At least I hope that the wall will stay okay. Anyways, in order to fix this issue, I put some less sensitive tape over the sensitive tape, which is not ideal, but yeah, I hope that it's gonna hold. Essentially, I'm making a huge stencil here and the process is very slow and also stressful because the sensitive tapes I bought don't really stick to the wall. So that makes it clear that I need to finish this today and fill the stencil with color today because if I leave it for the night, it would got destroyed. I'm sure about that. But that was the plan, basically, because I need to use a spray paint to fill this up. And I can only do that after the working hours. Otherwise, uh, yeah, otherwise people wouldn't be really happy with me. Well, some would be. The ones who always tell me that they love the smell of the spray paint. And I always say, don't. Don't smell it. <laughs> okay, after about four maybe five hours, the stencil is done. It's there, it's on the wall, and it's time to fill it up with a spray paint. It's 5.15, so everyone is pretty much gone, which is fine, but the stencil isn't perfect. Some of the, some of the soft tape is peeling away. There are gaps, so I'll need to be really careful with, with the filling process. I'm not really looking forward to this, but as I said, I need to do it right now. Now or never. Alrighty, it's filled up. The opacity isn't perfect, but I wanted it that way. What I didn't want it was spray paint in some of the holes like this one, but there will be a shadow. So I'm gonna cover that up. Let's put the tape away. This is looking freaking cool. I was really nervous about this process because there were problems along the way and I was not sure if this is gonna work. But as I'm putting the tape down, I see no major errors and I'm starting to feel really good about this. And this is the central piece. It's basically graffiti which says connect. Actually, when I was designing this mural, the only key word that I really had was connectivity. So I took it. I used it and I created this font. It's not exactly classic graffiti shit, but it's letters. Letters that I designed in order to emphasize connectivity. You know, the way how I connected letters E and T, C and N. Anyways, this is still just the first layer. At this point, it looks kind of not interesting. So the next step is shadow. So, I started with the shadows, but I ran into problems, obviously. I tested three kinds of colors for the shadows. The first one has a great opacity, but it's, it's too dark, it looks like black, and it blends together with the background. The second color is purple, but the opacity of the color is terrible, and I would need to apply a ton of layers in order to fix it. The third option is a spray paint. The color is great, it covers very well, but it's a spray paint and it's 9.55. So the building is full of people. So yeah, uh, how do I, how do I do this? Or maybe, maybe I use both to bring a bit of a variety into the piece. Yeah, I'm gonna do that.
Alrighty, the shadows are finally done and I'm really happy about the decision to make them in two colors. I think it's a lot more interesting, but I want to make it even more interesting by putting some turquoise inside of the shadows. But I didn't plan this before, so I don't have any turquoise with me. So I'll need to do it tomorrow. Right now it's time for the stencils. The dots are there, but I need them completely dry, so I'll see ya. If we want to talk about the reactions of people from this floor, most of them were totally positive. For sure, a lot of people didn't say anything, so I have no idea what they think. But there was also this one guy who asked me if I am painting also a wall next to his spot. And I was like, mm, maybe, but we didn't talk about this yet, so probably no. And he was like, thanks God. To which I said, what? And he replied that it's a beautiful blank wall, that a beautiful blank walls are kinda rare these days. To which I replied, ah, okay. Apparently he's not a big fan of graffiti, <laughs> but you know, he even called my piece graffiti, probably mainly because of the letters that I used in this design. And although it was kinda rude, you know, some people just don't like graffiti. You can't really blame them. Alrighty guys, we are getting towards the end. And I have to admit that this mural, once again, was more complicated than I expected. But I expected that I will be wrong, so I estimated that it will take me four days, which apparently was true. Although I thought that I'll only need three days. But that's not important at all. The result is important and, well, I want to hear your opinion, but mine is that I love it. I really, really like all the layers, all the, the, the color combination. I really, really like this mural. And I hope that people in, in this office, but also in the whole building, will look at it the same way as I do. And I also hope that board member, who apparently will be in this office, will like the mural as well. This is 